Hi, this is Margaret Dilloway. I'm the author of How to Be an American Housewife. One thing people keep asking me is, is everything in your book true? Did everything really happen like that? And the answer is no. It's not a memoir. That all didn't happen. <laughs> One of the funniest stories I have about that is when I was going on a job interview. This was just last year. And this man gave me an intelligence test, told me to sit down and take it, and he was going to go read my writing sample, which included part of this book. So I took the test, and he came back, and he said, My goodness, you're an excellent writer. I'm really enjoying reading it. I'm at the part where you're a maid. And I said, You mean where the character is a maid in post-World War II Japan? And he's like, Yeah, you're a maid, and you're working for an officer. And I thought, hmm, I don't know if I want to work at this company. But they didn't offer me a job anyway, because I guess I didn't pass their intelligence test. Anyway, not everything in this book happened. But there are certain little things that my mother told me about that I included in the book, because I thought they were really interesting and led an aura of authenticity. For instance, she told me that American pilots shot at her and her brother while she walked home from school. She told me that she really did have her father look through all the pictures of her suitors and choose my father. So there are all kinds of little things like that that happen. But I'm not Sue, the American daughter. I never worked at a company like that. I didn't get to go to Japan. I don't have a daughter from an early marriage or anything. My mother didn't have an affair with anybody. The whole plot is fiction and those conversations between Sue and Shoko didn't happen between my mother and me. There are ideas of what I thought we would have talked like, perhaps, if we had talked, but it didn't happen. So I hope that clears up everything, and I hope you enjoy this book for what it is, a work of fiction, a mother-daughter story designed to perhaps help you think about your own relationship and come out feeling a little bit good about the world. Thanks. Bye.